Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this episode. So in today's episode, I have talked to a second year student of BSc Computer Science whose name is Rohit. So Rohit is basically from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. So I had a very interesting discussion with uh, Rohit. So we have actually mainly talked about uh, starting a career in cyber security, you know, giving interviews, uh, their preparation. And we have also talked about, you know, doing certification, choosing the right certification, whether to whether a student should go for certifications or not. And also Rohit brought up a very interesting topic, which is, you know, uh, dealing with burnout while working in cyber security. So I have uh, tried to give my explanation of, you know, handling uh, burnout. Uh, so I would request you to, you know, listen to this entire episode till the end. And if you're new to my channel, and so I really appreciate you clicking on this video. Uh, so I would also request you to, you know, look around my channels. If you like the kind of content I upload on this channel, I'll request you to, you know, stay subscribed to this channel as well. So without wasting any further time, I'll get connected with Rohit. Hello. Uh, sir, sorry for the delay, sir. Hey, Rohit. No, no, no problem. Yeah. I was not sure whether you're going to join or not. That's why. No, yeah, yeah, okay, okay sir. Uh, yeah, I'm in college, sir. So only I completely forgot about the meeting. Oh, you are in so, college right now? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, actually, I that's why, you know, I have sent you the request one... Uh, month back, so I thought you know it will be fine. So, is it a good time? Uh, yeah, sir. yeah, yeah, it's fine, okay. sir. It's fine. Okay, not a problem. Okay, Rohit. So, actually, before we start, uh, since we are meeting for the first time, right? You want to tell uh, us yeah, yeah, what you do and sir, uh, I'm currently uh, learning for EJPT, I'm preparing for uh, one month, I think. I'm going to take the exam on August, sir. And I am very much uh, interested about web, uh, web testing and uh, red teaming, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to start into red teaming, but I cannot find the right way to start. Okay, got it, got it. So, are you in yeah. college, you said, right? Are you doing Yeah, college, second year? Uh, no, sir, uh, BSc Computer Science. Second okay, BSc year. Computer Science. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Great, great, great. So, it's a th three years course? Uh, the BSc? Yeah, three years, sir. Three okay. years. Got it. Yeah. Understood, understood. So basically, you are interested in uh, red teaming and stuff, right? That's what you said. Ah, uh, yeah, sir. Red teaming. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so Rohit, actually, you know, red team has couple of aspects. So if okay. you have already read about it, right? There are web application uh, yes, testing and mm. penetration testing, and right now the you know most hot part is you know the cloud penetration testing and all. So mm, since mm, you are okay. in college, right? And you have to you know you just want to get started with. Mm, red teaming and stuff right what i usually recommend mm. people get started with web application penetration testing okay, okay so sir. because okay. there in the market as you can understand right all the startups that mm. we are seeing you know all the new companies that are coming up so every company mm. will have to have a web application maybe a e-commerce platform or you know anything right so that's why you should be able to understand yes, there are a lot of demand for you know engineers who will be able to you know make those applications uh, secure correct so oh, that's, yes, why, yes. that's why you know if you want to get started with it right so uh, i think uh, compared to you know other aspects like you know network penetration testing and uh, cloud penetration testing uh, you should focus more on okay, web application sir. penetration testing first and, yeah okay sir uh, if you have not already you know uh, started you know reading about web application penetration testing what i would recommend right there is a i am sure you might have heard about owasp right Ah, yes, sir. Okay. So, have you have you uh, got a chance to, you know, study and read about OWASP? Ah, yes, sir. I was doing about two years. I started uh, started my web testing before two years. Okay. And I gone to Buck Bounty and I studied about o OWS top 10 2017 and currently 2021 also. Sir. Okay. Great, great, great. And you are doing yeah. Buck Bounty as well, Rohit? Yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, okay. But I'm not very much interested uh, in those stuff. I don't know why. Uh -huh. uh, because of lot of duplicate, I get uh, burnout. So I'm. Okay. I okay. cannot focus. Got yeah, it. Yes, got sir. it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, since yeah. there are a lot of engineers like doing it, so there is mm -hmm. you know you will many times you will get response. You know, already someone has reported those. Yeah, yes. Yeah, but I think what I would recommend, right? 
uh, you know continue learning about uh, those bugs because uh, if you add okay. stuff in your resume like you know you have found bugs and you know critical bugs in you know certain infrastructure or certain application right it will definitely yeah, yeah, get you a lot of attention so i can understand it happens you know when i used to do it uh, used to face similar issues as well however uh, you know if you continue doing it i think that will be really helpful for you i mean if you put those yeah, things in your definitely. resume okay yeah and uh, there's a uh, owsp testing guide you might have heard about right pdf um, yeah, yes. that day ah uh, yeah sir yeah sir yeah, and sir. i downloaded it but i didn't go through it i think so uh yeah i i can understand yeah. but since you are studying as well right but you should actually yeah. you know study that i mean that one is a very good resource right and okay sir you will actually get to know about theoretical part okay from there mm. but the thing is practical part only you will get to understand if you do some real life challenge for example bug bounty mm. is obviously a real, real life challenge that you are facing and if you play a lot of ctfs right ctfs and mm. hack the box and stuff right so Mm. those things will be really helpful and i am not okay. i am not recommending you to you know immediately pay a lot of money to any to buy any you know uh, challenger program or you know online labs uh, but there are okay, plenty sir. of freely available stuff you know where you can actually you know study about those things uh, study and actually practice okay, those sir. things okay And okay sir okay find any dummy website like you know demo.testfire.net and you know mm-hmm. uh, acunetics also scanners right they, they make scanners they also uh, have you know many websites where you are allowed to you know try your um, hacking skills and stuff so i think okay, if you sir. you know pick any of those sites up and um, and sp- start practicing your skills that will be really helpful and you know okay. and add everything in your resume okay whatever you know like you know different yeah, and vulnerabilities yes, names uh, so i actually mm. you know recommend all these things to everyone that you should your is your, your resume should be full of keywords otherwise when recruiters are looking for resume right they won't be able to find your mm. resume so okay sir. whatever you know right the tools that you use or the techniques or uh, the you know different vulnerabilities that you use you you have to you know put everything on your resume so that your resume is discoverable when you are actually putting it on nokri.com or linkedin.com so yeah okay sir. making sense right rohit ah uh, yeah yes sir, sir okay perfect uh, any other question rohit you have uh, sir uh, how to build a recon methodology because uh, following others methodology is not uh, fine for me i need to build my own methodology what will be your uh, tips sir to build uh, recon met- methodology you are saying yeah yeah sir web testing recon methodology actually it uh, it it depends on you know uh, the situation you are into right now uh, for example okay. uh, i what i prefer to do is right kali linux had lot of uh, uh, you know tools that are available right for reconnaissance yes like sir yes, amas yes. is a great tool and if you AMS, have okay, sir. right if you have looked at it right it has many mm. features actually uh, but the thing is mm. uh, the thing is you have to you know use the right feature at the right place i think that is important right so okay, not sir, all okay. the feature you cannot blindly uh, you know run a uh, reconnaissance tool on any target i think okay so that's yeah, why you know sir. you you have to know each and every feature really well and then continue to explore yes, the target sir. then you have to you know map it really well you know this feature should be perfect for this particular situation and and mm, also okay. the important thing is what you are looking for okay so uh, when mm. you are actually looking at a target right you must have specific thing in your mind that i am looking for this type of bugs and this type of issues right maybe you are enumerating some mm. domains right so basically yes then you have to focus on those uh, features of any reconnaissance tool otherwise if you run it blindly uh, you will end up getting a lot of garbage results and you are not going those results will, will not make much sense to you so that's what i yeah. you know recommend people that first mm. if you are running any tool run about those tools yeah. and also parallelly mm. try to run uh, try to learn you know how those features are working so in case the tool is not available mm. right how you are going to do it mm. with manually so that part is very yeah, important yeah. right because okay, sir, many okay. times automation will fail right many time automation will mm-hmm. fail you may have yes, to do it manually yes, sir, so uh, whenever yeah, yeah. you are doing reconnaissance always keep that in mind mm. right if you have to do it manually mm. okay how you are okay, going to sir. do it and you know Mm. for to be able to learn that you have to understand how that that tool is working and you know in lot of okay. good companies yeah. right interview they are going to ask you mm. this questions they are not going to tell you which tool you use they are going to ask you okay, okay how these mm. tools are working you know can you do it without these tools okay sir okay i'm i'm getting yes sir sir i yeah. can able to understand yeah 
sir as you know like uh, web 3.0 is the future of web, te- web testing mm-hmm. how can i improve in that sir i know that uh, they are using ethereum solidity res some other uh, technical stuff mm-hmm. how to get started into it sir 3.0 uh-huh. secret got it actually you know uh, i won't be the right person to uh, you know suggest you anything because i am very uh, noob at web 3.0 so i don't have much clarity about that as well i just okay. studied very high i have very high level overview so if i you know okay. i don't want to blindly recommend you something so that you know uh, and mislead you so uh, okay sir okay. i won't touch yes, that sir. rohit sorry about okay, that sir. Mm-hmm. yeah fine sir Sir, uh, I think six months before I was planning to take OACP, mm-hmm. since it has an uh, active directory in it, I'm, to be honest, I am so weak in web stuff, sir. Uh, sorry, Windows stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. So, I cannot be uh, able to study active directory. Mm-hmm. Uh, is, there, is there any way to study it uh, easily for OACP? Because uh, after uh, each APT, I'm going to take OACP. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm a little bit scarier about Active Directory. Some are saying it is very easy stuff. You should know only the basic uh, attacks. Mm-hmm. But uh, what was your idea uh, about it, sir? OACP, actually, you know, I uh, read about the course material long back, not recently. Okay. But what, if okay, you want sir. to learn about Active Directory, right? Okay, if you want to learn about Active yeah. Directory, what I would highly recommend is set up an environment uh, in your lab okay, okay in your sir. desktop so yeah. otherwise it will okay. be really difficult uh, if you just you know read theoretical knowledge right from different blog posts uh-huh. and youtube tutorial that don't make any uh, that will make sense you may feel like you know it's making sense uh-huh. but when you have to do it practically right different password stealing uh-huh. attacks and you know uh, and you know attacking the active directory domain controller etc and stuff so uh-huh. that will be really difficult and you will face a lot of difficulty so you know uh, what i would okay. recommend first uh, from the scratch set up an environment uh, take a windows okay. server take a domain controller uh, create couple of boxes uh-huh. windows 10 boxes and connect it to the domain controller and then you will actually okay. you know, learn about how these things are working right and after that you can okay. get about you know pen testing them what all different attacks are there but if you start building uh-huh. the environment from the scratch right you will have a clear understanding mm-hmm. you know how okay. I mean, what is domain controller and how does it communicate and all this stuff mm-hmm. okay, okay you should start from you know building an environment right it won't be very difficult right you will get a lot of tutorials if you have to uh, build a uh, ad environment or domain controller in your ah, yeah, system sir, with yeah. vmware yeah. or virtual box right so i would uh, highly ah, recommend yes. that rohit okay sir okay sir sir uh, for job uh, perspective how can i know i am ready to apply for the job and what are the skills i should know before going to the interview uh, so as we there discuss, any criteria so as, yeah, yeah. as we discussed right if you are going for web application penetration testing related job so there is no right uh-huh. time to you know appear in the interview what i would recommend you know uh, once mm. you have learned some basic stuff right you should update okay, your profile sir. regularly on job portal like nokri.com or linkedin.com okay LinkedIn. and and yeah. and, st- and start reaching out to people okay and start reaching out to people that you know you this is your profile you are not going to hear back from 90% of them okay but still you should reach out to mm-hmm. people that okay this is your resume okay, and uh, if you do not hear back don't take it to your heart okay that's absolutely fine a lot of people are not going to respond to you but yeah mm-hmm. you know 1% if they respond right that will be uh, good mm-hmm. for you right so so you should start yeah, reaching yes, out yes. to people that you know uh, you are yes. fresher and you are looking for a job and you know uh, start appearing in interviews i think that will give you more experience uh-huh. like you will get to know what okay. all questions are being asked what are the latest technologies uh-huh. people are working on so don't wait uh-huh. for the right time you know when you are ready then you will start appearing for the interviews just learn some basic okay. stuff so uh, okay. th- when you are confident enough right so if any application uh-huh. is given uh, you are able to find uh-huh. certain bugs and certain information about it you should go uh, go for interviews okay and uh, okay, sir, okay. and that will give you more exposure in, uh, and you know experience i believe yeah sir definitely okay sir yeah. sir another doubt i am having uh, sure. i am very much improving in that uh, while solving the hack the box and try at me i am getting lot of stress and what to do next i don't know sir uh, but people are saying read right uh, right else you can improve in it and make your own methodology i am doing that i am very much improving in that Uh, what will be your tips in get started and get improved easily crack the machine uh, with your question was not very clear can you repeat please uh, 
ஒன்லிங்ஸ் <laughs> so that yeah, will yeah. actually you know give you uh, you know give you more like hands on experience because you know reading mm-hmm. someone has ran this particular command this particular tool on a certain sen- environment mm-hmm. you know uh, you will definitely get an idea but once you run it mm-hmm. right then actually you will actually get the proper experience so uh, try yeah. to do it that's a very good suggestion whoever has given it to mm-hmm. you read write up mm-hmm. but what i would recommend read write up and try to try to try it parallelly oh, ah yeah. yeah. got oh. it yeah so ah, that, yeah. that's i would recommend okay okay sir okay sir then i am having some question about burnout sir i am easily get burnout uh, what what should i do uh, burnout in the sense uh, your day to day life yeah uh, during cyber security and learning process sometimes i am get easily burnout uh, actually i am struggling to get out of it so when you feel burnout right so is it when you are studying it or when you are doing practical stuffs and no sir no sir do uh, when doing practical stuff when we get duplicate or it is not working properly like got that. it got it i think yeah. you know uh, you should you should give yourself a break you know when you are feeling you know little bit of unmotivated uh, you are getting actually you know uh, little unmo- demotivated and stuff right because uh, mm-hmm. what you should do like you know change the target a bit but you know uh, but you have mm-hmm. to promise yourself that you are going to come back to the target again so that will yeah, be my yeah. recommendation okay so maybe you are trying to okay. hack a mm-hmm. website a.com and you are mm-hmm. uh, you know feeling like you know it is not going in the right direction lot of no's you are hearing mm-hmm. right so what you have mm-hmm. to do okay. just give yourself a break don't be harsh on yourself that you know uh. you do not you know maybe you are not good enough don't bring all these thoughts into your mind just you know go okay. to target b for some times try something there and maybe you know mm. you have to when you are doing it right you have to promise to yourself that right, you, know, you are going to come back to target a and you know try hit it hard uh. again okay so mm-hmm. that okay. i usually do because i can understand you know i have also done this you know bug bounty for an avid research for a long time and so mm-hmm. when you hear no it feels it hurts right but you know yes. <laughs> but and what do you have to understand this is the part of the process right Mm-hmm. this is the part yes. of the process so you have to know that you know you are obviously going to uh, ha- face hard challenges and uh, otherwise <laughs> you know you won't grow that is also true correct right yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. so sir yeah. what are you currently doing like web testing or Like what type of uh, no actually i am into uh, incident response and forensic right now okay uh, oh, okay sir okay uh, and i have done web testing actually uh, when i started my career but it's mm-hmm. been a long time i actually you know i'm not into web application penetration testing so i actually okay. changed domain a couple of times within cyber security mm-hmm. so right now i'm into you know more into forensic reverse engineering and you know incident response and those things so oh sounds great vulnerability research i do that is on my you know in, in my spare spare time but uh, mostly okay. uh, ir and forensic all this stuff okay sir okay sir uh, what could you recommend the types of certificate i should do okay so i'm uh, currently doing ejpt i'm going to complete it after that how can i get okay so uh, i actually you know uh, face this question uh, you know quite often so what i would recommend if you really want to do certifications right uh, you can yeah. go ahead and do it but what i personally feel you can actually you know learn whatever you are going to you know uh, mm. learn in through the certification process right uh, you know on your own as well that's my, that's mm. what my understanding is but yeah okay. some certification is really helpful uh, when actually you know you are starting your career you are, you have to if you write certain certification right on your resume uh, it will actually grab some attention from the hrs and stuffs uh, 
uh but okay. uh, what i would recommend right uh, i don't recommend ceh okay because uh, yeah yes, those, yes, yes. Uh, ec council certifications are actually i feel it is viable actually a lot of people just yeah. pay money and buy the certificate so what you have to understand yes. uh, so everyone knows right that you know how there is this hack to get those certificates so you do not really have to mm. study but uh, yeah. i uh, but as you said right your next target is oscp i i Yeah, Personally, sir. believe you are on the right track. So, with CPN, yeah. offensive okay, security, sir. offensive security certifications are really good. So, you know, okay, um, I think you know if you go ahead and hit the OSCP really hard, uh, that will be really helpful yeah. for you as well, and it will be good for your resume as well. Okay, sir. Okay, fine, sir. So, I am in right, right part only, sir. Correct, correct. You should, you know, offensive yeah. security certification. I, I usually ask people to do if they really want to do. Okay, sir. Okay. Due to that high price, I I am little bit scared about taking OSCP. Yeah, that's why you know you you uh, give yourself some time, do some um, read some blogs and write ups, okay? okay, and try to mm-hmm. emulate the same environment in your uh, personal computer, okay, and try to practice. Okay, it. Sir. Okay, okay, sir, definitely. Then practice. Sir, is PNPT is uh, good before taking OSCP? What uh, will be your w- w- cyber mentor PNPT? Uh, Rohit, I haven't looked at the course actually, so I won't be able okay. to exactly tell you. You know, it will be good on. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. But if you are trying any difficult examinations, right? There will be plenty of mm-hmm. video tutorials and blog posts, right? So you just yeah, read about sir. it and try to emulate the same environment in your local PC and you know practice it really okay, hard. Sir. Okay. So then, okay, sir, then okay. you will your anxiety will also reduce when you are actually you not know, giving the exam because during the exam time you will have that anxiety right because you have to finish it in certain mm. time and you know yeah. you also have the pressure of you know you have paid this much money and you know it if you get mm. fail what will happen so you know practice it really well you know uh, in your spare mm. time okay okay sir okay mm. Okay, sir. I think that's all I'm having. Sure, perfect, Ravid. So, uh, thank you yeah. so much for reaching out to me. Yeah, okay, yes. and it was really nice yes, talking sir. to you. By the way, uh, where are you, where are you from? Sir, I'm from Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Oh, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. You know. Nadu. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Great. Sir, great. your videos are uh, much more uh, easy to understand. Please continue with this video, sir. It's very useful. I think I saw your uh, reverse engineering playlist. It was uh, very much easy to grab and understand. Okay thank you so much Rohit I really appreciate your kind words okay yeah. thank you so much yes, for supporting sir. yeah uh, yeah okay, I'll continue sir. to make it because I have a day job as well so right it is sometime it is yeah. really difficult I'm not very regular but whenever I get mm. some time I'll continue to you know I try to mm. you know upload stuff so thank you so much for your okay. kind words Rohit I really appreciate thank- okay Rohit thank I you. really appreciate yeah. okay uh, taking time mm. and, you know talking to me I hope it was helpful and uh, yes, please definitely. you have my email address P- feel free to drop an email ah, yeah. okay, if you have any other f- okay. further question okay, okay sir okay sure yes thank, thank you so you. much with all thank the you best. very much bye yeah. thank you sir bye sir. so thank you for watching this video till the end and i really hope this video was helpful for you and you are able to you know learn something new so thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next episode bye bye